Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me here today on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. If you haven't already, don't forget, hit the subscribe button down below so you know every time I'm putting out a new video and every time I'm starting a new live stream. Today we're doing another quick sample review and again for those of you that are just joining us on these sample reviews, these samples are made up of samples that were sent to me by different distilleries, samples that were sent to me by friends out there in the whiskey world, and most of them are samples of whiskeys that I've already reviewed on this channel. So if this is a whiskey I've already reviewed, I will link it up here in the corner so you can check out the review, the original review, before you see this one. Um, so let's get to it. We're going to get to our random number generator. We've got 24 samples programmed in here, so we'll hit the random number generator and sample 13 is what it came up with. Hopefully you can see that. So there's 12 here, that means it's this. I'll turn away, cover the label, pour ourselves a little bit of whiskey. Turn my head again, put it back in its slot. All right, let's get to the nose. Very sweet, very fruity, nice dark fruits. A slight hint of maybe like an herbal character in there or something. Touch of oak. Very sweet, very dark fruit though. I like the nose on this. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Nice flavors up front. You got a little bit, just a very quick hint of a lighter fruit note, like an apple, and then it turns into like some darker fruits, some deeper characters, the dark uh, brown sugar, hint of molasses. There's an, like I said, like I smelled in the nose, there's, there's an almost herbally character in the back. I mean, there's some rye in here, whiskey in here, or rye uh, grain in the mash bill. You're left with a little bit of a sweetness, a touch of bitterness. Let's get another sip in. I love the nose, though. The nose is very well balanced with the sweetness, these beautiful dark fruit smells. Maybe there's even a hint of a nutty character in there. Yeah, those dark fruits are nice. They're, they're coming right over the middle of the palate. They've got like a raspberry character, um, cherry. They blend right in with this herbaly character. Left with just a touch of bitterness, probably from the oak. Yeah, this is pretty good. Proof wise, not incredibly high. Maybe we're in that 90 proof range. I like this. I like the flavors that are here. I like the balance. The sweetness level is perfect for me. It's not too dry, not overly cloyingly sweet. The flavors that are there are good. It's moderately complex, not overly so. Um, but there's definitely a decent amount of different flavor characters to kind of find your way through and drink on this one. I wish maybe it was a little bit more, more bold, like a little bit more forward, maybe a little bit higher proof perhaps. But I think it's good. As a quick sample review and as the caveat, I, like I've told you in the past, these are quick reviews. You've watched every second I've spent with this whiskey, so take, a, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't given this whiskey the time that maybe it deserves. But in this instance, I'm going to say that this whiskey is in, I think it's real good. I'm going to give it an 85. I think it's a very solid good whiskey. So let's see what it is. We just did another one of their whiskeys in the last quick sample review, and this is the Hill Rock Estate Solera Aged Bourbon. And I think this is very good. Like I mentioned during this process, the flavors around, the complexity is, is there. There's enough complexity to make it interesting, but the balance is right. The flavors are good and very and relatively bold. Like I said, I would love to see this around 100 proof. I think that would be like the perfect proof level for something like this. And I'd love to dig into their uh, Solera aging process a little bit more because I'm curious about that. Not very many whiskey distilleries do a Solera process. That's more prevalent in like the rum world. 
And it's kind of a weird thing in the rum world because they kind of use it to make people think their whiskeys are older than they are. But um, in this case, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I like the whiskey. I think it's good. And 85 was my score. If you guys get the chance, check this one out. I think it's tasty. So this whiskey was provided by the distillery, as was the last one. So just full disclosure, they did provide this to the channel. So thank you very much to Hill Rock for doing that. This was a great whiskey. Um, if you guys have checked out any of the Hill Rock whiskeys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. Thank you.